Another battle in the healthcare arena is looming funding for the state child health insurance program expired last month. SHIP, a federal program, is designed to help millions of struggling families that make too much money to qualify for Medicaid. These parents often work in low-income, part-time or temporary jobs that do not provide health insurance. Funding for SHIP has been extended several times since the original legislation was co-sponsored by USNs. Edward M. Kennedy, a Democrat, and Orrin Hatch, a Republican. The most recent funding extension, enacted in 2015, ended September 30th. Before the 1996 welfare reform legislation and the 1997 enactment of SHIP, parents often had to quit their low-paying jobs and go back on welfare to get health care for their children. This acted as a disincentive for people who were trying to move out of poverty and welfare dependency. SHIP helps such parents get health insurance for their children while continuing to work. Most SHIP funding comes from the federal government. States can design their own programs to meet local needs. The Congressional Budget Office says that, in fiscal year 2017, the federal government spent about $15 billion on the program. In 2015, 8.4 million children across the United States, including about 200,000 in Virginia, were insured through SHIP. In 2000, just 38,000 Virginia children were covered by the program. The percentage of Virginia children who lack health insurance has been cut in half over the past 10 years and is now at its lowest point in history, less than 5%. That achievement will be in jeopardy if SHIP is eliminated. SHIP has become especially important as employers have cut workers' health insurance benefits over the past 20 years. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, 64% of children received health insurance through a parent's job in 1999. That number was down to 55% in 2016. The lion's share of this decrease has happened in families led by parents with low-paying jobs, exactly the population that SHIP helps. We have a moral responsibility to help young children who are in dire circumstances through no fault of their own. But health insurance for children is more than just the right thing to do. It is a good thing to do for our country's future. A modest investment in children's health early in life can prevent very costly problems later in life. Healthy adults are more likely to be working and contributing to the economy. It is difficult to think of a better investment in this country's future than to have children grow up healthy. SHIP helps achieve that goal. In providing health care for children, it provides peace of mind for their parents. Most of the parents whose children are enrolled in SHIP have jobs, and some have multiple jobs. They simply lack the kinds of jobs that provide health insurance for families. Over the past 20 years, SHIP has enjoyed strong bipartisan support. Americans have expressed widespread support for helping needy children. A recent poll by, by the Public Religion Research Institute asked if people agreed with the statement children whose families cannot afford health insurance should receive coverage through the government. 86% of respondents completely or mostly agreed, while only 14% mostly or completely disagreed. As members of Congress put together the fiscal year 2018 federal budget in the next few months, they have a responsibility to set aside partisan bickering and ensure that needy children don't lose their health care coverage. William P. O'Hare is a demographer who has worked extensively with the U.S. Census Bureau for more than 40 years. He lives in Cape Charles.